Hi. Thanks for all the well wishes yesterday. I made it to 69. Now let's see if I can make it to 70. Today, I have started trying to do something different. I hope I can keep it up. It's tough, but I started just trying to take walks outside of the pool around the area. And it's amazing that I can walk. No, it's not amazing. It makes perfect sense that in the buoyancy of the water, I can walk for a long, long time with no pain. But when I walk without being in the water, I get pain in the back of my hips, both sides sometimes, sometimes just the right side. But it's sort of like right above your buttocks muscle and to this outside towards both sides above the buttocks. And I get this pain. So I walk for a little bit, get the pain, come back inside, sit down, relax, let the pain go away. And then I walked again and did it again and did three times uh, during the day which increased the number of steps I got. So I'm going to try to do that for a while and see if I can work up my endurance and uh, maybe the pain will, will go away. Uh, now, as to the video yesterday, one of, our, one of my commenters mentioned that he wished he knew where to start with Bitcoin, and it was very interesting. So I'm showing you on screen right now the comment and what I replied to him. There is a video series called What is Money Podcast. And the What is Money Podcast has a nine-video series with Michael Saylor being interviewed. And... This guy is a fascinating individual. He really is well educated. MIT. He's a C. He's a chairman of MicroStrategies, which is a business information data company that he established back in the late '90s. Went public with the company in the late '90s, and is a huge holder of Bitcoin. His company holds more Bitcoin than any other company for their own treasury assets. I think he holds multi-billions himself, but I know his company is holding 12, 13 billion as their treasury asset. Instead of keeping their money in the banks, they keep their money in Bitcoin. And it's a very interesting story. But this video series starts at the very beginning of time and the history of money and how it's evolved and devolved. So I'm thinking about migrating my at sign Mark dash Hannah channel to be more of a channel on macro economics, retirement, on various financial standards, including retirement on a Bitcoin standard. I'm thinking about making that channel dedicated to that. I'm really interested in it. I really think I can help a lot of people with retirement. And, I mean, if you've got so much money you ain't worried about then good god bless you that's the way it should be everybody should but i think i can help a lot of people on retiring with a bitcoin standard but this video series which i'll leave a link to in this description for this video here uh is a good place to start and it's a nine video set but You'll get hooked after the first hour. This guy tells good stories. 
and he starts at the beginning of time and it gets more and more relevant as we move through time and empires but uh again thank you for all the well wishes uh that's one video that so far hasn't gotten any dislikes it was all likes and it wasn't that good of a video i did a video two nights ago on the bitcoin standard and the what happens if you want to lease a car versus buying a car taking the money that you would buy the car with and hold it in bitcoin ver and then just pay the lease out of the bitcoin and i did a horrible job making that video i think i'm going to remake it totally i i know i already changed the spreadsheet to make it more understandable and i did a, an absolute lousy job on it i apologize for that and i think i'm going to redo the video and put it up on my at sign mark dash hannah channel and uh, rebrand that so my apologies for doing a bad video sometimes you just aren't in the mood to do a lot you know youtube's funny just tell you a story here youtube's funny about spreading your word and and benefiting people there's a guy who has a channel i'm gonna give him a plug right now he's called the uneducated economist uneducated economist he started a youtube channel back a few years ago and he didn't have a lot of money he started using an iphone 6 and he had a junky old car and he was in the lumber business and he started this channel and he started just sitting in the front seat of his car behind the wheel and he literally he literally put the camera over to his right in the passenger seat and i think for the first few times i'm sure he just was holding it in his hand out here over by the passenger window and he just talks to the camera no titles no graphics no editing and he's done that now for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos he doesn't do any editing just him in the front seat of his car no special lighting no special microphones no fantastic audios just him talking into the camera as if they were your friend and he's got 134,000 followers wow yeah talk about going against all the so-called experts that says you should do this and this and this and that his thumbnails aren't anything special it's basically just the title of the of what he's talking about but it's, it's the uneducated economist and it's just talking to friends that's all it is and he was really doing badly when he started his channel deep in debt but he didn't know what else to do so he started his channel now he's making a little money off the channel but he still kept his job he had a job at a lumber company he still keeps his job but he sits out in the parking lot and makes these videos love the guy the uneducated economist he may be uneducated but don't kid yourself he spends two or three hours before talking to his customers or his followers his subscribers researching a topic that he may not know about to try to understand it and then he talks to him and 
typical standard American education language terms. Sort of like Donald Trump does. If you really get right down to it, this is just my guess, Donald Trump speaks to the American public at an eighth grade vocabulary level. He talks to the American public on the level of an average eighth grader, not top of the class, average. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't think his education's eighth grade level. He is just smart enough to realize that the average American speaks at eighth grade level. The average hardworking, decent American is not from Harvard. They have not gotten a four-year college degree or a six-year college degree. Some of them haven't graduated high school, and if they did, somebody pushed them through high school without having a good education, a good vocabulary. And when you get right down to it, the vast majority of Americans, when talking to their friends, the vast majority are talking to them at eighth grade level. One of the videos I love watching on YouTube is the guys who go out to the public settings and just pick young people and ask them simple questions. Who did America fight in the Vietnam War? And some girl says Korea. I mean, they, uh, some Americans aren't all that sharp. They're not the brightest bulb on the shelf. Anyway, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. I hope you enjoyed it. You have a great evening. A great day. That's all, folks.